what the hell do you do simply <laughs> what do you do? what do you do so both ben and i are crime statistics analysts and off the bat that does not mean going to crime scenes <laughs> we do not do forensic blood lab analysis um no. i think that's the number one misconception that that i see a lot of mm -hmm. i don't do that um i'm too squirmy for that stuff yeah, there are crime <laughs> yes yeah. scene analysts who i guess would right. do that that's not our job we, it's not like csi our job is not that mm -hmm. Basically, I work at a desk all day long uh, in a government office with a bunch of open uh, cubes. <laughs> They're not really cubicles anymore. They used to be. Yeah. Um, and I write research papers on crime trends in Canada. So it's a very... We work for Statistics Canada, which is the main statistical agency for basically all, um, like, branches of industries in Canada. So we gather all the statistics from like a bunch of different industries in Canada. Mm -hmm. We work specifically with crime and justice uh, statistics. So I feel like this is a job interview. Why am I nervous? <laughs> like, this is what bad. do you bring to this the is table? Bad. <laughs> okay. Guys, I'm nervous because my boss might be watching. So she's, she's drilling me right now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so generally speaking, it's it's crime statistics uh, that can be anything from policing to courts to corrections. Mm -hmm. um, I used to work more for corrections related statistics before I was at Statistics Canada. So mm -hmm. I have some of that like yeah, um, Christine was at the correction, background. correctional services, Canada. Yeah. Is that the name? yeah. Um, so I've worked for the government in some form doing crime or justice related statistics for about eight years. No, nine mm -hmm. years now. So prior to you, uh, becoming kind of known online for nail art right yeah, yeah. or so it was kind of around the same time you were establishing i've been a crime career, statistics but... analyst for longer than i've been a youtuber so mm -hmm. to me it is more of my identity i mean youtube is a huge part of my identity but mm -hmm. if you like knew me as a person i i'm not just like all i do is youtube and this is my life and just look online and you clearly you'll see it like there's so much mm -hmm. more and so long we spent before we started putting ourselves on the internet doing other things in life i guess Sure. So like 90% of your job is basically writing Writing papers. research papers. The other 10% are meetings. Yeah. <laughs> Going to meetings. <laughs> Welcome to being <laughs> an adult or working in an office. Yeah. Right? Then I guess I'll just add, so I think on paper, you would we would both describe ourselves as crime stats analysts, but uh, I guess my job over the years has been more in like a data production or data development role. So for a while, I was a survey manager that negotiated a relationship with police services to get their data into Statistics Canada, for example. Mm -hmm. And more recently, I guess I'm more of a specialist in uh, preparing data files. So if Christine's doing analysis on uh, how policing incidents uh, conclude in criminal courts, I might be the person who helps link those two files in a way so that she can make sense of them and... Mm -hmm. and uh, elaborate the implications and that's a data. that's a really important part right because we don't just make up this data obviously when we write research papers about what the data say the data has to come from somewhere and they often come from either police services or the courts or our correctional systems and each institution or police service will kind of amalgamate their own data send it to us but they don't always all match or follow the same rules so it becomes really messy as an analyst to try and make sense of it. So we need people like Ben, who does a little bit of the cleaning or what we call like record linkage, mm -hmm. where you start linking different files together and then you make it clean, let's say, mm -hmm. just like easy to read and, and code and work through so that my team or not just my team, but mm -hmm. for example, what my team does is we will then take the somewhat clean analytical file and then start analyzing trends and actually like putting words to what the, we're seeing in the numbers. Yeah, I'm just trying to make Christine's life easier. That's, that's Yeah, my it's job. great. <laughs> Please keep cleaning, especially around the house. <laughs> but no, it's a, it's a good point because like far fewer people at our work do what you do, which is just like that pure analytical role. Most people are more involved in the process of production. actually getting data in and producing the data. Yeah, data yeah. production, data entry, all of that is a huge workload that um, isn't mm -hmm. as glamorous, let's say, as the people who get to write fancy papers. Like, I think sometimes people think research writing is like super fancy. 
um, because you sound like you're so intelligent and that you're going to these cases one by one and analyzing things, but that's not the case. Like we get a giant, like millions of data records Mm -hmm. and they had to come from somewhere and they had to be streamlined and uniform or whatever made sense of by a bunch of people before us. So shout out to all the the coders and the programmers (laughs) out there, all the data entries. You want to shout out any coworkers before we... (laughs) Shout out to all my coworkers. I love you all if you're listening. (laughs) Thank <laughs> you.